Hello, hello, good evening class. Bienvenidos chicos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Fátima, hello, Janet. Hello. Hello, my hello. Lady. welcome. How are hello. you, ladies? Hello. ¿Cómo están, chicas? Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. How was your Black Friday? No hay en blanco de efectivo. ¿Cómo me le fue? Ya compras. Me encontró en blanco de efectivo. Aquí estamos tranquilas. Tranquilas, sí, mejor. Mejor aquí en la clase. This is the black class. Black November class. Desde hoy. Yeah. Let's see, Wilbur, hello Wilbur, Oscar, welcome Oscar. Hello teacher. Hello, hello. Let's see, Emerson, hello Emerson. Good evening, teacher. Hello teacher, how are you? Fine, you guys, how are you? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Great. Excellent. Ustedes siempre andan con energía. <laughs> Ustedes me pasan bastante energía. Las vibras. Las vibras en positiva. Okay, so we're going to start with our class. So you're ready for the class, guys. ¿Están listos? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. sí. I am ready. Fátima, question. A bailar la macarena. A bailar la macarena. <laughs> We are ready, teacher. <laughs> okay. Este, uh, ya vi que ya le gusta bailar. <ríe> ok, bien. Vamos a compartir por acá. And how was the traffic, guys? Había tráfico, no. Yes. Yo voy saliendo del trabajo. Leonel. Sí, Leonel? voy en la carretera ahorita. Ok, Leonel. Leonel. Be careful. Okay, so listen up. We're going to start today with something that you already know. This is a tongue twister. And I, I think this is easier than the previous one. Like this es más fácil que la anterior. Vamos a ver cómo nos va. Since we're studying double H questions, también ahí tenemos un tongue twister para las double H questions. ¿Ya todos lo están visualizando? Yes, yes. I see. Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Mire, ya anda el ratón, ahí anda. Okay, so it says, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay, it's easy, right? How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if I would chalk, could chalk wood. So I want you to practice some words with me. For example, let me see. So remember the question, how much, how much, how much, wood, could, 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 what chuck wood chuck wood chuck chuck wood chuck wood chuck 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 chuck 
chuck, chuck, chuck. Una marmota. Es una marmota. Cook chuck wood. Okay, cook chuck wood. Wood means madera. Madera. We have uh, la marmota. El condicional if. Sí, ¿verdad? If a wood chuck could chuck wood. El verbo modal could. Okay, poder, right? Es solo chuck. Okay. Can you repeat it again? ¿Cuál fue la, pre cuál fue la pregunta, chicos? Solo only, chuck. Que... chuck. Ah, chuck. So chuck. it means morder en este caso. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? So what do you think? Let's see. Let's try. Well, let, let me check that word. So I think we have some trouble with this. And then let's see, I need a volunteer to help me reading that a uh, tongue twister. Well, actually chalk, okay. Chucks means arrojar. It was not eat, it was arrojar. So how much wood would a, could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Wood. So repeat that uh, vocabulary with me. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Wood, wood, Wood. 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 How much would a wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much? 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 Okay, so let's see. We're going to try to do it again. How much would a wood chuck chuck? How much? 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 Chuck wood. Okay, let's see. Volunteer Wilbur, do you want to try? How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much could a could a wood chuck 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 if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay, nice. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Let's see somebody else. So I guess your name. How much wood? Could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Let's see. Somebody, vamos a ver. Let's see, volunteers. How much good could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Wood, okay. Let's see somebody else. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay, nice. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Could Let's see. Chuck, chuck. Fatima, do you want could to try? A, could a wood chuck chuck? How much would a wood chuck, a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay, nice. It was a little bit faster. A little more rapid. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Let's see somebody else. Vamos a ver más. Uh, Sarita, do you want to try how much, how much wood could a wood chuck? Okay. Okay. 
How much good could a good chop chuck if a good chuck could chuck good? Okay, <laughs> nice. So that's why uh, that's why it's called tongue twister, right? How much? How Let's much see, uh, Janet. Do you want to try, Janet? How much wood could a good chuck chuck? How much good? How much good could a good chuck chuck if a good chuck gold chuck good? Okay, nice. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Harrison, do you want to try, Harrison? Uh, how much wood a could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck uh, could chuck wood? Okay, so let's do it again. So let's do it uh, together. How much? How much? How much? How much? Wood. 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 Okay, por ahí ya, ya, ya va saliendo. Vamos a ver. Let's see. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck chuck wood? Excellent, Fatima. Uh, well, yeah, that was Fatima. Very good. Okay, again, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Let's see, volunteer. How how much How wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck wood chuck wood? Okay, nice. So that was Leticia. Okay, so let's um, do it once more slowly and then we increase the, um, let's say the, the speed. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck wood could chuck wood? Again, how much wood how could much a wood chuck wood chuck? Much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Let's see. Um, I want to listen to. Well, let's see. Volunteer. Um, e Emerson. Eric Emerson. What is Emerson? How much wood? How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay. Nice. It was good. Let's see. Somebody else. How much could cool a chuck wood? How about let's see, Rudy? Where is Rudy? I can see you, Rudy. Cool, I will chuck chuck if I will chuck cool chuck. How much would a cool I would chuck chuck if I would chuck chuck? Uh -huh. How much would could I chuck chuck if I would chuck cool chuck wood? Chuck. If how, I much, cool, how much wood cool a chuck wood? Chuck chuck if I would chuck cool chuck wood. How much cool okay, Rudy, Rudy, go ahead, Rudy. So do it again. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much would a cool wood a wood? <laughs> slowly, slowly. How how much would a cool a wood? Chuck. Would chuck, chuck, chuck if I would chuck cool, chuck, chuck wool. Okay, nice. It was better. And let's see, Fatima, please do it again. I want to listen to you? How much would I could I would chuck chuck if I would chuck cool I chuck wood? Okay, nice. Let's see. And Lionel, do you want to try, Lionel? Va a que choque. Ok, mejor no. Va a ser un choque, de verdad. Un choque. No, no como la okay. que... So don't worry, it's ok. So now, let's... Deben hacer varias cosas a la vez. Ya, yeah, no es multitask. Seguimos. Ok, so let's continue. And uh, this is our class number, I think that's number 14. Nuestra clase 14, chicos. So we're about to finish the, the, this week. 
Terminamos la tercera semana el día lunes. And we're going to do the following right now. Go to this website and type your own questions, right? In the previous class, we um, were talking about double H words and questions. So right now you're going to open that link, this link. Te pueden hacer una captura ahí para ingresar al sitio web. Si no, les vamos a proveer también el enlace para que ustedes ingresen. Vamos a ver. Ahí. Ahí está. Ahorita les compartí el enlace. Y también pueden ingresar acá. Me hacen ahí una captura, ahí el código. Canean el código. Pero ahorita ya está el enlace en, en el chat también. So you can look for that in the meeting chat. And we're going to try to create some sentences. Example. So in here you have some verbs, some pictures and verbs. For example, let's say, what, oh, well, why do you cry? Why do you cry? What do you drink? What do you drink? So you have to create some questions using some of that verbs. Pueden utilizar algunos de esos verbos que están acá. So let's practice. For example, we have run, play, cry, drink, look, listen, write, build, write, knock, laugh. So look at the girl. Hug, dance, draw, clap, paint, Brush hair, cool, and what else? Also have um, kiss, breathe, quick. Uh, oh, well, it says kick, kick, climb, jump, and yawn. Okay, so repeat that with me. Run, run play, run, play, play, cry, cry, cry drink, drink, drink. 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 Look. 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 So look. what's the meaning for look? What's the meaning? Look. Mira, right? Observar. Mira. Observar. Mira. Listen. 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 Write. Write. Right. Build. Right. Build. 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 Write. Build. Right. Right. Knock. So what's Knock. the meaning? Knock the door. Right? Law. Love. Love. So what is she doing? She's laughing, right? Reír. Oh. Hug. Oh. Dance. 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 Draw. 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 Clap. 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 Paint. 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 Brush hair. Brush, Brush hair. 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 Brush hair. Brush hair. Brush hair. hair. Okay, uh, call, call, call kiss, kiss, read, 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 and this one, kick, 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 kick. climb, climb, climb. Jump. 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 jump, 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 bostezar, bostezar. So I'm providing jump. you with uh, these action verbs that uh, you can create some others. You can create some different uh, questions. So you probably add some other verbs. Ahí ustedes pueden escoger algunos de esos verbos o escribir uh, o elegir otros verbos. So for example, the question says, uh, where do you live, right? Where do you live? So what would be another one? Why do you sleep? The whole day, for example. ¿Por qué duermes todo el día? <laughs> okay. So I want you to open that link. ¿Ya todos están allá en el enlace? Okay, so just let yes, me check me. Pero tira lo que tienen que ingresar con una contraseña. Okay, so let me open that. O sea, lo vamos a entrar. Intentar ingresar. Pueden iniciar creando sus preguntas. Ok. 
Ok, les voy a compartir el enlace y me dicen si ya puede ingresar. Voy a compartir este otro. So you have to create your questions and later on we're going to read them. ¿Cuántos ya ingresaron? Wilbur, do you access? Eh, sí, teacher, yes, yes. Eh. So you have to type your questions. Tienen que escribir sus preguntas en el espacio que les aparece ahí. Donde dice enviar un comentario. Exacto, donde dice agregar un comentario. So later on, we are going to share that question with me. Ahí tenemos que poner la pregunta con la... Ajá, con en el comentario, que, ustedes van agregando... Con los ejemplos. Oh, oops. Ok, probamos nuevamente ahí. Ok, why do you like dance? I just have one person in here. I just have one person here. Ok, nice. So there we have the questions. Ahí ya nos aparecen las preguntas. Why, what, why, why do you cry or why do you cry? Ok, cheese. Why do you like cheese? Nice. Who do you dance with? What do you play? Ok. Who does he run with? Where does the child play? Why does the baby cry? Cry. Why does the baby cry? Why does the baby cry? So let me check. Okay. Last one. So not all regresaron ahí. Yes, I just got some of you. Okay, let's see. When do you come? Okay, when do you come? Okay, well, I just got some of you. Uh, where are you now? Where are you now? Okay. Where are you now? Mm, okay. No me salieron todas ahí como quería. So just, okay, what does she look like? 
what does she look like? Carol B, what does she look like? Okay, so well, we'll continue. I didn't get this one. Probably the next one, we're going to try with another one. Okay, so we continue, guys. Uh, we're going to discuss some questions about um, some information using a double H questions. And in here, we're going to write a conversation for example, uh, we have some examples. What do you watch on TV? And where do they live? Why do you cry? When does your dad arrive? And what time does she finish her lesson? So in here, we're going to try to write at least, uh, a, well, let's say other uh, two or three questions in a conversation. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now, writing a conversation. For example, so these are just some examples, but in these, you're going to work in pairs and look at the sample conversation shown on the next slide, ask and answer questions related to your workplace and use some double H questions for completing the dialogues. For example, um, we have A and B. Hello, where do you work? I work at a call center. What time do you start work? I start work at 8 a.m. or 8 o'clock, right? Thanks. When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like, and you mention one activity. And in here, you have to add two more questions, two or three questions. Okay, vamos a practicar esta conversación y agregamos por lo menos dos o tres preguntas más a nuestra conversación. Uh, well, it, they have to be double H questions, right? So let's practice. Hello, where do you work? So listen up and repeat that with me. Hello, where do you work? 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 Well, that, that's absolutely right. <laughs> Hello, where do you work? Hello, where do you work? Hello, where do you work? I work at a call center. I work at a call center. I work at a call center. Uh, yeah, it can be call center or call center. Call center, call center, or call center. Or center or call center. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that would be optional in your case. Center or center. What time do you start work? 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 I start work at eight o'clock. I start work at eight o'clock. Thanks. 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 When do you when have, do you vacation? have vacation? vacation? When do you, when have, do you have vacation? When do you have vacation? I have vacation, I have vacation in, December. in December. I have, I have, have vacation, vacation, in December. vacation in December. 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 Which activity December. do you like doing at your workplace? Which activity, Which activity, activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like. I like. I like. I like. Open the I like. I like. Um, for example, supervising people. So that's what we want. Uh -huh. I like to supervise the employees. I like to help people. I love, uh, or I like, let's say, folding some things, or I like moving. Uh, well, so you can mention some other activities that you like doing at your workplace. 
let's practice this once more and then we go to the breakout rooms. We're going to see just some examples and later on we go to the breakout rooms. Hello, where do you work? 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 I work at a call center. 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 What time do you start work? I work. I work. What time do you start work? 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 I start work at eight o'clock. Okay. Thanks. When do you have vacation? Thanks. I have when do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Okay, nice. Let's see. Uh, let me open something. I want to show you something. Let me check. Okay, which activity do you like doing at your workplace? Which, which activity, activity do you like doing? Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? like doing at your workplace. Okay, so hold on. Permítame un segundito, quiero mostrarles algo. Vamos, vamos a abrirlo por acá. Okay, I'm going to show you a video right now and later on we're going to watch another one. But I want you to pay close attention to the intonation of these videos. Uh, well, when they, when it, um, yeah, when it's, uh, it means that we're going to watch the video and we have to pay attention to the intonation of the yes, no questions and the double H questions. We're going to start with the yes, no questions. Vamos a ver cómo se Eh, entona ahí cuando nosotros eh, o donde lleva la mayor fuerza de voz cuando nosotros hacemos una yes no question y cuando hacemos las double H questions eh, nada más me confirman ahí si ya se ve no no se ve todavía oh, you no know. ok no solo la pantalla, una pantalla roja? roja ah ok solamente solamente perfect lo vamos a dar play ahorita <risa> Welcome back, dudes. This lesson is about a big fancy word called intonation. English is more than just words. How you say a sentence is also very important. I am so happy. This is the wrong way to say it. We say it differently. I am so happy. Intonation is how you say the sentence. Today, I will show you the special way to ask yes-no questions. You can answer yes-no questions with only yes or no. Here are some yes-no questions for us to look at. Can you find the park? Do you like pineapple? Is this your classroom? Will we play a game? 
All of these questions can only be answered with yes or no. The intonation on these questions will rise. Rise means go up. At the end of the question, the intonation will rise. Can you find a park? Do you like pineapple? Is this your classroom? Will we play a game? For yes, no questions, the intonation will rise. So let's look at some more examples of yes, no questions. These questions are answered with yes or no. So remember, the end will rise. Are you having a good day? Ya pasó el rato, mira. Ya se fue la cosa. Am I a good person? Does it go fast? And that's it for today. You're okay, guys. So now let's practice with these uh, yes, no questions that we have in here. So, and as you notice, the intonation will rise at the end of the question. Entonces, como ustedes observarán ahí en el video, la entonación sube acá al final de nuestra pregunta. Are you having a good day? Can you pass me a pencil? Am I a good person? Does it go fast? So you rise your intonation when we uh, talk about or when we make a yes, no question. Entonces, cuando hacemos la yes, no questions, la entonación sube al final de la pregunta. So are you having a good day? Can you pass me a pencil? Am I, am I a good person? Does it go fast? So it rises. Let's see, let's check uh, the examples. Does it go fast? And that's it for today. Your homework is to read sentences using the rising intonation on yes, no questions. Remember, rising means go up. Good luck, everyone. You can do it, and thanks for watching. So now we're going to check. Hello, guys. Welcome back. This is another lesson about intonation. Remember that English is more than just words. How you say a sentence is also very important. I am so happy. Can you find the park? These are examples of good intonation. You learned in the last lesson that the end of yes, no questions will rise. But what about the five W words and those questions? Questions that start with who, what, when, why, where, and also how. So maybe five W's and an H. Here are some five W questions for us to look at. The intonation on these questions will fall. Fall means to go down. So yes, no questions go up, but five W questions will go down. Like this. Who is your teacher? Where are the books? When will you go home? What can we do after school? Can you hear the intonation go down at the end of the sentence? They all fall. So let's look at more examples of these five W questions. Remember, the end will fall in intonation or go down. Who is the boss? 
Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much homework do you have? Can you okay, so now let's try to practice with this double H and uh, look at this. this. This is the opposite. With double uh, H questions, the intonation goes down. So it means that the intonation falls, right? Who is the, who is the boss? Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much hunger do you have? So the, let's say that we probably um, have a stress here at the beginning. Who is the boss? Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much homework do you have? Let's see, uh, I want to test some of you. Dasar, que se anima a hacer los ejemplos con la entonación? Who is the boss? Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much homework do you have? Let's see, volunteer. Who, who is the boss? Who, who is the boss? Who is the boss? Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much homework do you have? Okay, nice. Evelyn, Marlene? Who is the boss? Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much homework do you have? Okay, nice. Wilbur, wanna try? Who is the boss? Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much homework do you have? Okay, nice. So you got the idea. Who is the boss? Who is the boss? Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much homework do you have? Let's see. And I want to listen to uh, you, uh, Fatima. Want to try, Fatima? Try, try. Read the questions. Uh -huh. Who is the boss? Why are you late? Where is the bathroom? How much homework do you have? Okay, how much homework do you have? How much homework do you have? Where is the bathroom? Why are you late? Who is the boss? Entonces, ustedes notan, ustedes notan el cambio cuando ustedes la van pronunciando, se escucha más bajito al final. Y si no se escucha, tenemos que hacer nosotros esa entonación, ¿verdad? Que baje al final en las double H questions. Y en las yes, no questions, ya sea con el verbo to be, sea con el presente simple o sea con verbos modales, como lo veíamos. Eh, can, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Yes. Do you like pizza? Do you like apples? Where do you live? Where do you live? No, ¿Notan un poquito la diferencia, chicos, ahí? Yes. Ajá, we need to practice with the double H questions. La tarea es que practiquemos con las preguntas que ustedes ya tienen. Eh, también, cuando las vayan leyendo o vayan haciendo algún ejercicio, que practiquen también su to entonación. Okay, so now let's continue. Uh, and right now we're going to do the following. Uh, we're going to create the conversation. Remember, you have to add uh, two or three more questions. Recuerden que acá vamos a agregar dos o, let's see, okay. Dos o tres preguntas más a la conversación. Entonces, primero leemos la conversación y luego vemos ahí que le agregamos más, ¿verdad? So that's up to you. Ahí se lo dejo opcional. Um, nada más traten de ponerla en contexto. Okay, so the conversation is related to work. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we're going to try to test uh, someone. Uh, Marlene and uh, Leonel, can you read the conversation, please? Yes. Your A. Uh, okay. Hello. Where Hello. do you work? Hello. Hello, where I do work you work? A, I work at a call center. What time do you start work? I start work at eight o'clock. Thank. When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. 
which activity do you like going at your Work. workplace? Workplace. Um, I like play with my students and I like uh, teach the children. Okay, I like okay to play with my students. My student and and teaching and teach teaching to my students teach uh -huh. teach. teach. Ok, acá como utilizamos un infinitivo Me gusta jugar Podríamos haber utilizado ahí un gerundio I like teaching uh, I like uh, playing And teaching También podría ser así Entonces si acá yo puse Play, el infinitivo Acá también tiene que ser Infinitivo I like to play, I like to teach Ahí están las dos actividades si sí, empecé con un gerundio, porque después del verbo like se puede poner un gerundio, es, es decir, un sustantivo. ¿no? Me gusta jugar, jugar y enseñar. Entonces ahí usted, okay. pero tienen que, tienen que, tienen que haber paralelismo. Si yo empiezo con un gerundio, la otra actividad que voy a agregar también va en gerundio. Si no, infinitivo, infinitivo. Ok, bien. Okay. Yeah. Eh, veamos. Vamos a hacer las breakout rooms y vamos a practicar la conversación y agregar dos o tres preguntas más. At least two, ¿ok? Ok. So, take a screenshot, guys. Me dicen si hay alguien que se nos quedó sin invitación. Eh, Sara, le enviamos la invitación nuevamente. Hello, hello, Sara, ¿me escucha? Hola, Concepción. Eh, vamos a ver quién más está por acá. Concepción Molina. Hola Sara, está el micrófono apagado. Sí, no pude entrar a la sala. No, vale, le voy a traer entonces una compañera acá a la sala. Vale. Gracias. Okay, vamos a traer a Fátima por acá. Vamos, ¿quién más se me ha quedado? Oscar, hello Oscar. Concepción. Sí, Concepción, me escucha Concepción. Concepción. 
Hola, Leonel. Hola, hola. No, no estaba en ningún grupo. Sí, ahorita lo voy a enviar con el grupo 1. Ok. Me ha aparecido una notificación ahorita, no. Quiero ver. Hola, teacher. Este, tenemos una duda al respecto. Eh, ¿Eran dos respuestas o tres respuestas a la última pregunta que se iba a dar? ¿O son dos preguntas? No, que se tenían... solo, ahí solo van a agregarle la respuesta a la última pregunta y agreguen dos preguntas más. Ok. Uh -huh. Dos preguntas más. Relacionada. Y tiene, que... ah, okay. y tiene que ir la respuesta de cada pregunta. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. ¿Qué tal? Permita. Voy a tratar de compartirle esa pantalla para que vea cómo es que me sale a mí. O tal vez Leonel sabe cómo, cómo se dice. ¿El qué? Ah, en la última pregunta yo contesté. I Ajá. like to read receipt, re, receipt, receta. Ah, ahí le compartí la pantalla, mira. Uh -huh. Ajá, Prescription. Prescripte. Porque es vea, el receipt es receta o medio. Y después pres, prescription sale como abajo y más abajo. Como receta medio. Prescripción, médica. receta o receta medio. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero a saber si será eso la correcta. ¿verdad? Podemos usarla, creo yo. Y le preguntamos a la teacher uh -huh. después. Aquí ah, está. ajá, sí, para que ella no saque de la duda. Ah, ah aquí vale. está la teacher. Aquí está. Hola, teacher. <ríe> Buenas noches, teacher, ¿qué tal? Hello, hello. Dígame, chica, dígame. Eh, yo contesté, me gusta leer recetas. I like to read, read, read it. Pero, este... En otra que, que encontró ella, eh, no dice, no, no se dice así, se dice de otra forma. Como re, re, recetas médicas, quise decir yo. Ajá, sería una pre, prescription. Prescription, uh -huh. prescription. Y, y esa que dice... Sis, recipes, recipes. Es otro tipo de receta, como de cocina. Esa es eh, receipt. No, la vamos a poner aquí en el diccionario. Sí, en la que está la otra que es receipt, que es receta. Sí, ya está, me chico. Receipt. Yo no sé nada de esto. ¿En serio? Eso es raro. Usualmente lo que le llamamos así a la, a la este, receta médica sería una prescription. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuál sí. es la que usted encontró? 
A mí me es solo esa recip recipies. Solo ¿Ves? esa me da a mí. Ajá. Ajá. La otra es la de la de receta. Uh -huh. Esa sería con cocina. Ajá. Y la de prescripción es la sería la médica. Uh -huh. sí, la otra es de, de cocina, recetas caseras. Uh -huh. Y la prescription sería la receta de, 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 de medicina. Sí. Receta. Entonces tendría que hacer como más larga la respuesta, vea. I like to read medical prescription. I like to read medical ah, prescriptions. prescriptions. Ajá, hay uh -huh. que ponerle la, el... Especificar que es médica. Para que no eh, aparezca la <risa> Medical prescription, a doctor's pres prescription también podría ser. Medical uh -huh. o podría ser a doctor's prescription. Doctor prescription. Ajá, uh -huh. solo que hay que ponerle el posesivo ahí. Doctor's pres prescription. Uh -huh. Receta médica. Uh -huh. Sí. Vaya, continuamos con la When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. <coughs> which <coughs> which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like supervise people. And I like very uh, control quality. Oh. And I like to have lunch with my co-workers. Okay. Hello, where do you work? I work, I work at a call center. Más o menos que podemos formular preguntas, podemos formular preguntas. Uh -huh. Que podemos hacer las preguntas y todo. Ah, si gusta, empiece usted ahora. Bye. Hello, where do you work? I work at Car Center. What time do you start work? I start work at 8 a.m. Thanks. Where do you where do you work on vacation? I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I... When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like to go school. Ya no están llamando. Hello, hello guys. Do you have no. any time? Si tuviera suficiente tiempo, I think. Sí. <laughs> okay, thank you. So welcome back, guys. Let's see where is the rest. Uh, Concepcion, Emerson, Fatima, Oscar, can not see you. Uh, let's see, Janet, uh, who else? Wilbur, welcome back, guys. Let's see, uh, I'll, need, I'll start with uh, the first group. Vamos a empezar con el primer equipo. Let's see, Leonel. It's Leticia, Flor, and Leonel. A ver, chicos, ahí cómo se dividieron ahí. Leticia, doctor okay. en Leonel. Eh, yo pregunté, yo hice pregunta y agregué dos. 
Ah, ok. Um, can, you, can you role play the conversation? Vamos a poder leer ahí su conversación con esto que ya tienen y de ahí las otras las agregan al final. Ok, ok. Pregunto. Hello, where do you work? Leticia or Flor? Um, I work at a call center. What time do you start work? I start work at 8 a.m. Thanks. When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? Uh, I like the... Hello. Se le cortó. Okay, perdón. I like customer support. Okay, I like to. Um, let's say to work as a customer support. Oh. I, I like to work as a customer support. Eight. 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 Okay. Eight. 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 No. Do you like to, to do? To do homework. Uh -huh. Okay, to do. To do homework. To do. Okay, okay, gracias. Do you like uh, to do the homework? Yeah, just I like my homework. Okay. Where do you study? I study in... Mm -hmm. Inglés preparativo. Okay. Okay, thank you guys. So let's continue with the second team. We have Rudy and Wilbur. Rudy, Wilbur. Hello, where, where do you work? Wilbur? Activate your microphone. I work at, at a call center. What time do you start work? I start work at, at 8 o'clock. Thanks. When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like to see the newspaper. I like to watch videos with my coworkers. I like help the people at the open they open the car. Okay, I like to I like to I like to help people. Help people. Okay. And um, the other word, which activity do you like doing? Doing, doing, Rudy, doing. 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 Uh -huh. doing. At, your At your workplace. And let's see, did you add two questions or one question? ¿Agregaron preguntas ustedes, chicos? Uh, no. No, okay. Solo las, solo Just las the, respuestas. the answers. Okay. Fatima mm -hmm. and Sara? Uh, Comienzo yo, Fátima. Hola, hola. ¿Me escucha, teacher? Sí, sí, ya la escuchamos, chicas. Vale. Ok. 
Hello, where do you work? I work at, at a call center. What time do you start work? I start work at a shop. Thing. When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like start with the lawyer. Okay. How much partner do you have? Compañeros, how much partner? Hola. Hola. How much partner do you have? I have 22 partners. Okay. Um, next, how much homework do you have? Repeat the question, repeat the question. How much homework do you have? Fatima, you can say a lot. I have <laughs> a, lot, uh, <laughs> a lot of homework. Uh, okay. A lot of homework. A lot of homework. Okay, thank you, ladies. Very good. So, and remember, hello, right? Hello, where do you work? Hello. Work, work. I work at a call center, at a call center or center, at a call center. So you can say, at a, at a call center. What time, 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 what time what do you start time? work? I what start time? work at eight. Thanks. Eight. When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? And uh, just modify this question. Um, how many, how many partners do you have? Okay. How many partners instead of- How many? Mm -hmm. No, it's because, how much? No, because it's countable. Ah, okay. How many? How much? A money, for example, uncountable. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, how much uh, juice, for example? Con sustantivos incontables, how much? Y con contables, uh, how many? many. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay thank, you. thank you, ladies. Uh, let's see. Next team is we have um, Eric Emerson and Janet Karim. So that's a nice. Name. Okay. Uh, hello. Where do you work? I work at a car center. What time do you start work? I start work at 8 a.m. Thanks. When do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like to ride a bike. What time do you leave work? I leave work at 6 p.m. How many days? do you have on vacation i have a month of vacation okay can you repeat the last question rudy how many days do you have on vacation Okay, what's the answer? I have vacation in December. In December. Okay. December. But you ask about the days, right? Pero la pregunta era de los días. How many days? No, es que me tocó con Janet, no con Rudy. 
Ah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, but the question says, how many days, right? How many days do you have on vacation? Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. The, answer, the answer. The answer is I have a month of vacation. Okay. Okay, a month. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, Emerson and Janet. Let's see, we continue with um, the last team, I think. Hey, Marlene, Marlene and Oscar. What is Marlene? Here, no. teacher. Ah, okay. And Oscar is here. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, Evelyn, usted trabajó con Oscar, ¿verdad? No, con no. Melissa. Con Melissa, pero Melissa me ha desaparecido, no la encuentro. Me dijo, sí, pero con ella trabajé, estaba con Wilbert y... No me acuerdo. Y ah, ok. Me redireccionaron a otra sala. Ah, sí, sí, y usted solita quedó, ¿no? Estaba no, Melissa. con Melissa. Sí, no sé Melissa qué. Melissa estaba conmigo. Ahorita estoy tratando de conectar contactarla. Bueno, um, entonces vamos a continuar, Marlene. Um, with, continue with Emerson, eh, well, Harrison and Tatiana. No sé cómo se dividieron ahí, chicos. Creo que Harrison sí. y Tatiana. Sí. Yo creo que sí. Ok. Empiezo. Um, hello, where do you work? I work at, at Call Center. What time do you start work? I start work at eight o'clock. Thanks. Thanks. And where do you have vacation? I have vacation in December. Uh, which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like to tell some my patients. No sé si está bien así, teacher. Like to? I like to? I like to talk. To talk, okay. With? So my, patient. so my patients. Patient. Patient. Ah, patient. Patients. Okay. Patient. And that's it. Ahí uh, termino. La siguiente pregunta que redactó. Mm -hmm. uh, what what time do you leave work? No sé si está uh, bien redactado. Yes, that's okay. Uh -huh. okay. I leave work at uh, five o'clock. Okay. Uh -huh. What time do you uh, leave work? Will be. I leave 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 leave. Work. work at five o'clock. Five o'clock. Okay, nice. Thank you. And let's see. Um, can you help us, Wilbur, and with Marlene? Yes, teacher. Okay. Marlene, start, Hi, please. Wilbur. Okay. Hello. Where do you work? I work at a call center. What time is it? Do you start work? <laughs> I start work at eight o'clock. Thanks. When do you have vacation? I, I have vacation in December. Which activity do you like doing at your workplace? I like to I like to help people with open their open cars. Okay, the next question. <coughs> What do you do in your vacation? I like uh, I like to uh, rest. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Nice. Thank you, guys. So now let's Thank continue, you. and we continue with something. Um, 
different uh, for this moment. Just let me share with you. Just hold on. Okay, so we're going to learn about the time and how to tell the time in English. So the, the activity is about it. Can you see the PPT, the presentation? Yes. Ya se ve ahí presentación, chicos? Yes. Yes. Time? yes. Okay, so we're going to learn how to say that time in English. So from this moment and so on, you will start uh, saying that time in English. Okay. So listen up, uh, here we have two important details about it. And we say pass, so look at this, past from 12 o'clock until six. So we say pass to talk about the times from the full hour. So the full hour is 12 o'clock to half past. Entonces desde las 12 hasta las 6, vamos a decir pass para mencionar del tiempo que Ya pasó, ¿verdad? Después de la hora. For example, uh, we can say it's... Usualmente la respuesta viene con it's. The question says, what time is it? What time is it? What it's... time is it? For example, I'm going to give you an example. It's six... Reproduce música de Six con una prueba gratuita de Amazon Music. It's, it's six ten uh, p.m. for example. Or you can say it's ten past six. Entonces acá vamos contando los minutos que ya pasaron. Son diez pasadas las. Seis. seis. A las seis. Pues empezamos de las doce al seis. Y another example could be, it's, uh, for example, let's say we have ten, fifteen a.m. Las diez y quince de la mañana. So yes. when we're ready, we can say it's yes. a quarter, yes. un cuarto, pasadas las ten. Yes. Ajá, it's a quarter past ten. Lo podemos leer normalmente como en lo haríamos en español. It's ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. Or it's a quarter past ten. Entonces, ahí tenemos las dos formas. Cualquiera de las dos, it's okay. Recuerden nada más que acá vamos contando los minutos que ya pasaron. Ok, son 10 pasadas las 12. Son de 20 pasadas las, eh, perdón. 5 pasadas las 12, 10 pasadas las 12, a quarter past 12, 20 past 12, uh, 25 past 12. And in here we have the half. Okay. Y acá tenemos las media, media hora, right? Entonces yo quiero decir las 12 y media. It's, the time it's, 12. Okay, um, in this case, you can say it's 12.30. Or it's half past 12. And ahí tenemos las dos opciones. It's 12.30 p.m. or e.m. Or it's half past 12. O podemos decir es media pasada las 12, media hora. So now let's check this side. Y ahora nos vamos al otro lado. So to, to the hour. Y vamos a ocupar la prepartícula tú para referirnos a las, a lo, el tiempo que falta para la siguiente hora. So we say two to talk about the times 
from, uh, let's say, 30 minutes until the full hour. Example, it's 10.40 a.m. It's 10.40. ¿Cuántos minutos nos faltan para las 11? 20. Ok. It's 20. 20, 22, 22, 11. 11. 11. 11. Okay. 22, 11. How about this one? Um, 11.45 a.m. It's a quarter, a quarter, a quarter to, 11. Two, to 12. 12. Okay, to 12. It's a quarter to 12. Questions so far, guys? Questions about it? We're going to check some more examples. Preguntas hasta el momento, chicos? So just remember, pass after the time that has passed, uh, passes. Recuerden acá nada más que vamos a utilizar pass. Pass. Utilizar after también. Puede ser que ocupen after. Después de, la hora, de los minutos que ya pasaron de, un, de una hora. Por ejemplo... Puede ser las 11. It's, um, let's say, 11, 11.25. Okay, 11.25 a.m. So what's the time? What's it's, the time? It's, it's 25 past 11. 25 past 11. 11. Okay. after 11. Or after 11. Okay, I think that's clear. So now let's check. May I continue with the next slide? Podemos continuar con la siguiente diapositiva? Yes. 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 Thank you guys. So in here you have the, that chart. It's a little bit uh, explained. Well, here you have the details. When we have a full hour, we say o'clock. Cuando tenemos una hora exacta, Vamos a decir o'clock. And uh, when we have the, we're, we're counting the minutes that have passed. Nos estamos contando los minutos que han pasado. Vamos a utilizar past, ¿verdad? O after. Five past, 12. 10 past, 12. Uh, five past, one. 10 past, one. Another example. Um, 10 past, two. A quarter past, two. 20 past, three. 20 past one, uh, 25 past four. Acá ya no es necesario que digamos cuántos eh, la palabra minutos. Solamente decimos 25 pasadas las, pasada la una, pasada las dos, pasada las tres. No es necesario que agreguemos la palabra minutos. Y para la media hora vamos a utilizar half past. Luego nos venimos acá al otro extremo de las seis a las doce. And we have 25 to... 11, for example, 20 to 11, a quarter to 11, 10 to 11, or 5 to 11. So let me see. I'm going to show you some examples. We're going to skip that one. So the first <coughs> example. So can you, what time is it in the first clock? So what time is it here? It's one o'clock. One o'clock. How about this one? What time is it? Twelve past ten. Ten past twelve. Ten past twelve. Okay, very good. How about this one? Five. Okay. Uh -huh, it's 540. It's, uh, I mean, yeah, it's 540. Okay. 540. 540. Uh -huh, it's 540. 540. So that's one option. Esa es una posibilidad. Podemos decir 540. It's 540. It's 40 to 6. Or 20 to 6. 20 to 6. Uh -huh. 20 minutos para la siguiente hora, seis. How about this one? Uh, 15 past 10. 15 
three to fifteen. It's ten. Ten, 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 ten to three. 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 Okay, it's ten, ten, ten to three. Okay, so we continue with this one. It's what time is it? Question: What time is it here? It's twenty-five. Past eleven. How about this one? What time is it? Or what's the time? It's seven thirty-five, right? Seven thirty-five. Seven thirty-five. Okay, thirty-five or. Oh. it's 20, 25, 2, 2, 2, 8, 2, 8. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Yeah. What time is it? It's 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. How about this one? What time is it? It's 25 after 9. 25 after 9. Nine. Nine. Perfect. You're good at this. And we're finished with this one. What time is it? It's a ten half. It's half. Ten half. Okay, it's half. It's half. It's Past. Past ten. Past ten. Okay. This one. What time is it? It's um two three. two <laughs> forty. It, <laughs> it's twenty two twenty two three two eight. Three, okay. No, remember, you have two options. Pueden decirlo como lo hicimos nosotros en español. It's 20 to 3, uh, 20 para las 3. Acá nosotros utilizamos las dos formas. 20 para las 3 o las 2, 2. 2 and 40. 2 40. 2 40. 2 40. 2 40. 2 40. 2 40. 2 40. 2 40. 2 40. 2 it's a quarter after eight. eight. After fifteen. After eight. eight. It's a quarter after or, eight. Or eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. Mm -hmm. eight, fifteen. Eight, fifteen. Eight, fifteen. So let's see. I'm going to show you the last uh, clues and then we continue with another one. So just let me see. So probably with this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, easier. Okay, let's see, let's move it. So you have to tell me what's the time. So what's in the time? Seven in a half. Let's see, I hope this works. Okay. Okay, so tell me, guys. What's the time? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. Eight o'clock. Okay. Eight o'clock. Stop. Stop. So you tell me, stop. 
What's the time? One o'clock. One o'clock. Yo creo que sí se van a ir. Stop. How about this one? What's the time? Stop. Tell me, stop. What's the time? It's uh, <laughs> or, or Seventy. Seventy. Twenty. 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 Twen
Thank you, guys. So now let's continue. Uh, we have some more activities. And we're going to check this uh, book. But I check. Okay, so we continue with something else, guys, about um, a new topic. And this is called prepositions of a time. So we're going to study this topic a little bit and we continue with a review in, in the next class. Mm -hmm. So I want you to pay close attention to this. So when do you use prepositions of a time? So analyze the following information. We have on, in, and at. Let's see, can you read the first one, Marlene? On. Marlene, can you read this one? On Saturday. On Saturday. On January. On January. The 23rd. 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 okay. Uh, on Monday, February, February the fifth. 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 Fifth on Wednesday. On Wednesday morning. Okay, uh, Jeanette, continue with this one. In May. May. Okay. May. In twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. In the summer. In the morning. In the morning. Paper at at twenty half at noon at night at midnight. Okay, at half past at half past two. Okay, at noon at night and at midnight. So look at this. A preposition of time is a preposition that tells us about or or that allows you to discuss a specific time. Specific time. Look at this. Uh, period such as a date, date on the calendar. Entonces, la preposición nos ayudan a hablar de periodos como fechas de calendario. Uh, days of the week, for example, in this case, on Saturday, on Monday, on Wednesday, for example. Or the actual time uh, that something takes place. O oh, horas exactas también. So these prepositions of time are the, the same words as prepositions of place. However, they are used in a different way. Entonces, esta la vamos a ver nosotros como preposiciones de lugar, de tiempo y también de lugar. En esta ocasión las vamos a estudiar como preposiciones de tiempo. Nos indican tiempo, nos indican días, nos indican fechas, nos indican fechas específicas o partes específicas de un día, como lo vemos acá, on Wednesday morning. Nos expresan también eh, cuando sucede algo, puede ser un mes, un año, eh, una estación del año o una, ah. parte, una parte del día. The morning. Y el otro que son para horas exactas. Entonces eso no, para eso nos ayudan las preposiciones de tiempo, para indicar fechas, días, meses, años o horas exactas. Empezamos con la primera. A preposition in. So look at this. Month. In April, seasons, in the summer, in the spring, con las estaciones del año, en el verano y en el, en la primavera. primavera. También la podemos utilizar con año. In 1990, 1990, eh, 1990, decades, con décadas, in the 80s. For example, I was born in the 90s. Yo nací en los 90. I was born in the 80s. I was born in the 50s. I was born in the 60s. I don't know. Ahí ustedes nos cuentan en qué década nacieron. <laughs> in centuries, con, también con los siglos. In the 20th century, también podemos utilizarlo con algunas eh, fixed eh, expressions, long periods, con periodos largos. En la era de hielo, in the present, in the past. Solamente que acá con algunas palabras ya son fixed expressions, ya son expresiones estandarizadas con las cuales en, usted tiene que memorizarlas en algunos casos. 
porque ya vienen determinadas cuál va a utilizar con in, con on y con at. Eh, parts of the day, partes del día, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. And we have at night, right? Entonces, lo utilizamos, la utilizamos también con las partes del día, excepto night. Con night, nosotros vamos a utilizar at. at. Uh, example, is your birthday in June? If no, when is your birthday? So when is your birthday, guys? My, My birthday, birthday is, is in, in, is in, in, in August. Okay, August. August. August, what else? August, March, April? April. September. 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 When is your September, birthday, October. Marlene? My birthday is in October. October. How about you, Wilbur? My birthday is in May. May. Por cierto, que estamos hablando de cumpleaños. ¿Quién está cumpliendo años hoy? Se nos, se nos ausentó Nailea. Nailea. Yes. Ah, por eso es que no está. <risa> Pero va a ver el video. <risa> no, no, es que su pastel. Okay, sí, por eso veo que está desaparecida. Um, okay, so when is your birthday, Tatiana? Tell us. My birthday is in February. February, me too. So we're lucky. And let's see, uh, Rudy, tell us, Rudy, when is your birthday? Um, my birthday is in December. December, okay. Flor, how about you? Hey, it's coming. Your birthday is coming. Let's see. Um, so where is, where, where is Fatima? She left. Yeah, no, she's here. Fatima, when is your birthday? My birthday is in February. February. Hey. Uh, January. 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 Okay. Guys, second question. Do you ever go skiing in winter? ¿Alguna vez van a esquiar en el invierno? I don't know. Oh, yes. Yes, right? Yes. <laughs> en el lodo cuando uno se <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, we sometimes go skiing in winter, right? First, yeah. Claro que sí. Which month of the year do you like most? ¿Cuál es el mes del año que le gusta más, chicos? Why? October. Uh -huh. April. October. February. December. 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 Okay. So in February. February. Okay. February. When is your birthday, Lionel? It's in August. August. And why do you like February? Uh, the I don't remember. Why? Okay, Valentine's. Valentine's. Day. Because of Valentine's Day. Ah, okay. Yes. Nice. Okay. Nice questions, guys. About it. Questions. No questions. We're going to practice. Estos ustedes lo van, van a ir adquiriendo la, la idea. Recuerden que esta es teoría, pero pues ustedes van a ir adquiriendo eh, la, el conocimiento de cuándo utilizarlas cuando ustedes están leyendo. Cuando ustedes están leyendo, van a, les va a aparecer esa preposición eh, con meses, periodos largos, o cuando ustedes escuchan algo también, ¿verdad? Si no es así, es porque... Puede haber algún error también o hasta un ejercicio. Por eso es bueno leer. Um, let's see. So we continue with on. Uh, we use it with days. For example, on Tuesday, on Saturday, on my birthday, on Christmas Day, on Halloween. And we also use it with dates. Bueno, lo utilizamos acá con días, con um, fechas especiales. Por ejemplo, el día de Navidad. Y también con algunas celebraciones. celebraciones. También tenemos fechas. Acá ya vamos con las fechas un poco más específicas. Entonces decimos, 
my birthday. What time, uh, let's say, when is your birthday? The same question. When is your birthday? My birthday. My birthday. Is on. Um, okay, so look at this. My birthday is on. February the 7th, February the 7th, when is your birthday? When is your birthday, guys? My birthday <coughs> is... My birthday is on... Let's see, uh, volunteer. So I'm just trying to send you a picture with the numbers. My birthday okay. is on 31 December. Okay. Ahí tenemos los números. Para que usted diga su fecha de cumpleaños con los números ordinales. My birthday. No remember. My birthday is on. Um, let's see. On the menu. Marlene, when is your birthday? Repeat it again. Excuse me. My birthday is on 7 mm -hmm. October. October, okay. My birthday is on seventh. the 7th. The 7th. Okay, of October. My birthday is on the 7th of October or lo mismo nada más solamente que acá lo leemos de otra manera. Sería October the 7th. 7th. Seven. Entonces acá en, con sus fechas de cumpleaños tenemos que utilizar la, los números ordinales. First, second, fourth, eh, sixth. Ahí lo pueden verificar. Um, Cheri, en caso, y en caso de que fuera de que pase del número 20. <risa> solamente, vaya, por ejemplo. 20 fresh. 20, 20 fresh. Solamente vamos a poniéndole ahí el 21st. 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 22nd. 22nd. Birthday is on. Say. 21st. January. Okay. My birthday is on the 21st. Okay, ya me equivoqué con esto. Es ST, ¿verdad? Esa es la terminación del el número uno, el número ordinal uno. First, my birthday is on the 21st of January. Or my birthday is on January the 21st. Entonces, ahí lo que va cambiando, lo que va cambiando sería ya nada más el... el, el El 1, el 2, el 3, hasta el 9. Mm -hmm. Let's say. Or you can say, bueno, en este caso, um, si es el 20, si es el 20, ya sería diferente. Sería este que tenemos aquí, 20th. My January. birthday is on the 20th of January. January. Or January the 20th. 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 Uh -huh. Entonces, si es el 20, ¿verdad? Entonces, si es el 20 en adelante, son lo que van cambiando, es el 1, el 2, el 3, y lo, le lo leemos igual, ¿verdad? Como lo estamos diciendo acá. My birthday is, por ejemplo, el 27. Ya tenemos ahí 7th, ¿verdad? My birthday is on the 27th. 27th. Vamos a escribir por acá. 7th. Este es el número ordinal. My birthday is on January the 27th, 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 
Vamos a ver, el 28, ¿cómo nos quedaría el 28 ahí? 20. Ace. 28. Ace. 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 28. 20. 3. 20. 5th. 20. Let's see. 4th. El 28. Twenty ninth, ninth, twenty ninth. My birthday is on um, December the twenty ninth, twenty ninth, December the twenty ninth. My birthday is on um, November the twenty fifth, twenty fifth, twenty fifth. So now try to give me your. Your date. When is your birthday, Sara? When is your birthday? My, my birthday is on 73 on October. Okay, my birthday is on October. Do you say? Yes. October. Okay, my birthday is on October the 23rd, 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 ahí les envié la lista para que ustedes vayan haciendo la asociación nada más, 23rd, let's see, any other one that you want to know, 20, en los únicos que cambia, um, la pronunciación de la, de la parte final sería en el primero, el 20, por ejemplo, el 21, 22 y 23. 21st, 22nd, eh, 23rd, que tenemos ahí arriba que nos mencionó eh, Sara. 23rd. Y luego seguimos ya con los, con los demás. Eh, 20. 4th. 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 Entonces quiere decir que del 24 en adelante la pronunciación eh, final es este TH. 4th, 5th, 7th, 6th, 6th, 13th, 9th, and 10th. Si ya es, por ejemplo, del 12 al, yeah. al 20, yeah. del 12 al 20 sí tiene su propia escritura. Ya del 20 en adelante es cuando yo les menciono que ya se vuelve a repetir del 1 al 9. Ah, pero, por ejemplo, si usted nació el 13 de, el 13 de noviembre. My birthday is on... Este. November. My birthday is on November the 13th. 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 Si se van a la lista que está en el grupo de WhatsApp para que la practiquen. ¿Ya todos la tienen? ¿La está, no sé si la están viendo, chicos. Sí, yeah. Okay. First. 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 So, that with me. First. First. first second, second, second. Third. 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 Six. 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 Eighteenth. You have to do this. Something like that. Eighteenth. 
tiene que escuchar bien la terminación para que no se confunda con el número cardenal. Yo digo 19. Es el cardenal. Por ejemplo, 4. El cardenal 4 y 4. 4. 4. 4. Fourth, fourth, mm -hmm. no es ese, mm -hmm. como más como una seta. Fourth, 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 I, I usually. Mm -hmm. I usually uh, work on weekday. Un día de semana. The, los, las tardes de la semana. On weekday afternoons. I work on weekday afternoons. Afternoons. So this means, esto quiere decir que acá con una parte específica del día, nosotros utilizamos on. Parts of a specific day. On Monday morning, on Friday evening, on Saturday night. Recuerden que lo veíamos con mm -hmm. in. In the morning. In, in the morning. In the afternoon. Pero cuando ya lo hacemos más específico, es decir, mencionamos el día y esa parte del día ya utilizamos on. On Monday, a Monday morning, on Saturday, on Saturday night, on Sunday afternoon. This is a movie. Mm -hmm. Which one? But fever on Saturday night. Saturday night. <laughs> okay, nice. Well, we're going to stop in here. Nos vamos a quedar por acá, chicos. Continuamos eh, a Monday. 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 Monday evening, right? <laughs> Monday night. <laughs> okay, um, just um, well, try to practice with some. Um, I'm going to send you some worksheets. Vamos a tratar de enviarles algunos ejercicios para que los practiquen. Y continuamos el lunes con el tema. Vamos a ver. Uh, just help me with the attendance. Eh, Blanca Flor Jiménez, Alejo. Or, ok. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro. Concepción de la Soledad Molina. Emerson Leonardo Tobar Zúñiga. Presente. Thank you, Emerson. Eric Emerson Mengíbar Calles. Presente. Thank you, Evelyn. Teacher, presente. Concepción. Sí. Ok. Me he levantado, sí. Disculpe, sí me escuchó, profe. Es que fíjese que está bien mala la señal. Emerson Leonardo. Sí. Sí. Okay. Thank you, Emerson. No, ah. Fátima Beatriz Franco Marín. Presente. Ok. Thank you, Fátima. Gerson Enoch Bonilla. Uh -huh. 
Thank you, Karin Janet Martinez. Present. Thank you, Janet. Leonel Gustavo Funes. Present. Thank you. Maria Leticia Relegueño. Present teacher. Thank you, Leticia. Melissa Stephanie Hernandez. Nailea Isamar García, se nos fue la compañera. <laughs> Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present. Thank you, Tatiana. Um, let's see. Rudy Alexander. Present. Asensio Present. González. Sara Noemi Jiménez. Present. Thank you. Wilber Francisco Javier. Present teacher. Thank you. And Xavier Ernesto Lopez Mendoza. Okay. Uh, thank you guys. That's all for today. Nos quedamos con. Um, el día de ayer estuvimos con. Eh, si no me equivoco, fue. Nailea, ¿verdad? Bueno. Sí, con Nailea estuvimos ayer. Nos quedamos estuve con Tatiana. Y bueno, no sé si hay alguien más que se quede o tiene alguna duda, pues se queda también. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. See you on Monday. Have a great night, guys. See you. Bye. See you, guys. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 See you. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, and um, Tatiana. Me gustaría saber si hay alguna consulta para que le podamos ayudar eh, o apoyar con algo. Solamente lo del reloj que se me olvida cuando es de cuando es pasada la cuando vamos a usar pas. Pas. Eh, ajá. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, voy a compartirle algo por acá. Bye. Acá tenemos, acá lo tenemos más dividido. Entonces, desde las 12, sería desde las 12 a las 6, a las 6 uh -huh. nosotros vamos a utilizar PAS. Es decir, que nosotros acá estamos contando los minutos que han pasado de cada, por ejemplo, de cada hora. Por ejemplo, okay. acá podría ser la 1, la 2, las 3, las 4, las 5, las 6. Y de aquí también podría ser, por ejemplo, yo podría, acá son las ocho, ¿verdad? podría decir, it's um, five past eight, cinco pasadas las ocho. Ajá, quiere decir que lo va, va a utilizar pas solamente con esta mitad de acá, de las doce a las seis. Ah, de las doce a las seis. Pass. De las doce okay. a las seis. Y, de acá, y el after, entonces, ¿dónde lo vamos a utilizar? Porque por momentos decíamos after, si no me equivoco. Ah, Tendría no. Tendría que ser en la otra mitad, o lo podemos no. usar ahí. Puede ser, es que ahí usted puede utilizar la palabra pass o after, pero es lo mismo. Entonces, pass mm, quiere okay. decir pasada y after quiere decir después. Después, ah, ok. Después, okay, pero okay. cualquiera de las dos está bien. Okay. Entonces, cuando utilizamos pas o after, estamos diciendo los minutos que han pasado de cualquier hora. Después de la hora. Okay. Ajá, de, después de cualquier hora. Ajá, después de cualquier hora. Por eso es que yo me venía a darle el ejemplo de aquí de las ocho, ¿verdad? Porque no quiere decir que porque está a este lado es solo con estas horas, ¿no? Puede ser con cualquier hora de acá, de todo el reloj. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, podemos ahí un ejemplo. It's... Um, por ejemplo, 10, it's 10, past, o sea, quiere decir, cuando decimos 10 acá, nos estamos refiriendo a los minutos, a los minutos. It's 10, past, 
Eh, one. Ok. Uh -huh. Diez minutos pasada la, a la una. Una. Uh. Eh, o sea, ¿qué sería la una y diez? Exacto, la una y diez. Ok. También la puede decir así, como lo decimos nosotros en español, o cuando nos cuesta decir, bueno, yo cuando me cuesta decir lo digo. <ríe> A ver, <ríe> me ha dado esa dificultad. <ríe> Then, um, por ejemplo, podemos decir, it's one, la una y diez. It's one, ten, la una y diez. Ajá, one, ten. Ahí puede ser a.m. o p.m. Sí, sí cualquiera de los okay. Cuando es en punto, si es o'clock. O'clock. Cuando es en punto, okay. es o'clock. Cuando es en punto. Ok. Y el tú. Y el tú lo vamos a utilizar cuando vamos a mencionar los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora okay. a la que nos estamos refiriendo. Bueno, venimos aquí a este lado. Siempre con it's. It's, okay. uh, por ejemplo, veamos el mismo caso de las ocho. Bye. Pero ya cuando la aguja de los minutos va de aquí a acá, ¿verdad? Es decir, las ocho y treinta y cinco. Ya pasó de acá. Ocho y treinta y cinco. It's a thirty Podría ser una y la otra sería it's. ¿Cuántos minutos faltan para las nueve? 25. Uh -huh. It's 25. 25. 25. 2. 9. 2, 9. Ajá. 25 para las 9. 9. Ajá. Este 2, entonces nos diría para, para las 9. O 25 a las 9. Las 9. A las 9. Veamos otro ejemplo. It's, eh, vamos a hacer ahí con las 9, las 9 y... 45. Uh -huh. Entonces lo podemos leer así como está. It's 9.45. It's 9.45 or... PM. Uh -huh. It's 9.45 p.m. or también it's... Ahí podemos poner quarter. Exacto. Con los cuartos, como un cuarto. A quarter. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. Tú, la siguiente hora. Nine. Ah, perdón, tú. Ah, tú Ajá, un cuarto, cuarto a, a las diez. Un cuarto a las diez. Entonces, cuando usted utiliza el tú acá, es cuando nos referimos a los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora. Para la siguiente hora. Pero es válido leerlo de esta manera también. It's 8.35, it's 9.35, o it's a quarter to 10. It's okay. 25 to 9. Lo mismo pasa aquí con el past y el after. No sé si, cómo, cómo estamos ahí, si podemos más ejemplos. No, ya, ya, ya lo logré captar. Es que esa era mi duda, porque por momentos escuchaba que decían past y yo decía past o after y me quedaba. Y entonces, ¿en qué momento lo voy a usar? Cuando está en la mitad. O en la otra mitad, en esta duda. Está. Ah, sí, sí, sí. No, puede ser con cualquier hora. Por okay. ejemplo, podríamos decir, ah, lo hemos hecho ahí el ejemplo, eh, las, vamos ahí, las 3 de la tarde. Um, las 3 y 50, por decirlo. It's 3.50 p.m. or it's, ¿cuántos minutos para las 4? 10, 2. 10, 10 a las 4. Entonces, esa relación sí. que, que, ajá, como la que relación que quiso hacer usted, no, no sería así, sino que puede ser con cualquier hora. Solamente y aquí estamos hablando de los minutos que han pasado y aquí los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora. Ajá. Sí, estamos bien. Ok. Sí, sí, estamos bien. Bye. Ok. Bien, si no me escribe, también le puedo enviar algunos otros ejercicios para que lo vea. Otra duda del. Este, ahora le escribí en la tarde de la tarea 13, creo que era. Uh -huh. este, pero ya se arregló, como a los 10 minutos que le dije, ya, ya me la tomaba como válida. 
De verdad. Entonces, sí, ya me la tomaba como válida y había intentado como cinco veces y yo decía, ¿y por qué no me agarra, verdad? Pero, este, cuando le dije a usted como a los diez minutos, me la tomo como válida, no sé si usted dijo, les dijo que la arreglaran, pero ya no tuve más problemas. ¿Cómo a qué hora me escribió? ¿Cómo a qué hora fue eso? A las tres, ¿verdad? Este, queda como a la, creo, ajá, como tres y media o cuatro creo que era. Bueno, a saber qué pasó, porque sí, sí envié el reporte, pero fue un poquito mal después. <ríe> pero yo intenté hacer la tarea desde ayer, pero como vi ese problema, se me olvidó preguntarle ayer en la clase al final, entonces hasta ahora en la tarde que estaba recordando, eh, intenté, porque dije quizás el internet lo tenía malo, pero después de Entendía que le dije extraño. Ella, me Sí, bien extraña. Bueno, pero bueno, entonces estamos bien, sí, ya funcionó. Uh -huh. o sea, Yo, por lo menos a mí me agarró, no sé <ríe> lo demás. Y este, entonces, mmm, vaya, hasta mañana tenemos que realizar la tarea 14, ¿verdad? Sí. La en tarea. la plataforma. Ya la 15 entra para la clase de lunes. Uh -huh. Sí, gusta. Ajá, podría. Puede hacer. Ajá. Si hay el, sí, usted verifíquela, porque como nos hace falta la última proposición que era el ad, pero así a modo general era solo para las horas exactas. Pero así más a profundidad, no, pero yo creo que sí, sí nos vamos con lo que vimos. Vale. Pero, igual, cualquier duda, escríbanme. Ok, bye. Okay. Sí, De acuerdo, bien, Tatiana. Bien, bien. Thank you so much. See you. Gracias, on teacher. Okay, Gracias. Descanso, feliz fin de semana. Feliz fin bye, de bye. semana también. Good night. <laughs> Good night.